all right welcome to this video now this is a sample video like i promised templates i've been previewed started the year the class teacher head teacher the names of uh, class members the subjects of the field navigation the subject field summary you can see um, score sheets of the field as well just like i showed earlier The calculation sheets, let's see how it works, let's see, this doesn't update, let's see, this is not updating, something like this, let's see, very common, I want this, let's see, this is not updating, so what the calculation digit does, I think, and I click on this one, this is why it takes a long while, so that's why it gives you that prompt that you should wait. It takes a while. Could be up to a minute or two. Just allow it. So I'll give it time. It's coming. Takes a while. And we are done. So you can see it has recalculated and repost. Yes, calculated the sheet and given us the totals as they were. And this time around, it's, it's going to be responsive, as you can see. So that's how this works. And then the attendance in this situation, in this case, at, at at full full attendance. This can work. And like I also said, if I'm not all of this broken down, I can just have it as hundred in one place, and that also works as well. Have it that way. Um, other assessments you can see this have been filled. Then summary sheets have been entered, the dates have been entered, and then signed date will be entered last day. So you can put this here or you can enter the date with your signature when you're signing the document or depends on what you want to do and let's say this is second term let's assume this is correct so this first term let's assume that was correct so the next thing we go to the um, so the next thing is we go to the reports page and here you can select the students one by one and view the reports and that's does this. Here. So, so what we can do in this situation is after we've checked the report and you see that everything is in order, one of the things you can do is to change the. Okay, I have not added photos. Change the signature picture. What you should do is to right click on it and click on change picture, walk offline and to take you to your images so you locate wherever it is you have the image you want to use for your 
you know signature I don't have anyone here now I don't have any signature here I'm just trying to show how to change the signature so you can just select look for your signature file and select it it's going to change that photo I don't have any other signature file so I'll leave that um we're supposed to add photos uh, images like we did before I say this same I just close this and it's added and close and added Added and we do the same for every other class member. So I'm not going to do this for everybody, I'm just going to. So you get the points. So the pictures appear now. If you like the subject list arranged this way, it's fine. Or like we did before, you can arrange the subject the way you like. That wasn't supposed to happen. English doesn't want to appear again. I want to leave the space in all of them. So So this is only works for this term. It doesn't work in other terms. This term specific. To change that list to terms of that list. So that's how this works. So this is going to be the same for every other person in this class. You can see the idea. So let's print. Uh, let me print just the first five. So you select the number you want to print. One to five. I want to print one to five and then I'll send to printer if you have a printer selected or I'll send to PDF. Same area, I'll click OK. So I'll wait for it to print the files. So that's done. If I look at those folders, so here are the photos, here are the generated reports. Perfect. The reports. So let's look at all that since we can do on the report page. We can change the color, team color. So there are several colors here which you can 
choose from and then there's a new color all this works for you you can decide to keep the class average off on you can decide to switch off the images once in each that takes away the nine months subject position off has gone for those who for schools who this may be sensitive to them can switch it off so the, those options are available and then that's basically some of what the uh, some of the options and choices you have all these are not very important they are, they are related to the printing of the report card they're not very important for now you can skip them so basically yeah uh, the report is ready and good to go so if you want to print all of the all the reports i'll just leave this empty to print the entire report class report but if i just want to print a particular section i just choose the section i want to print if i want to print just report number six i just click on six and then i can try to do this that I have two, two good marks. If it's showing across here, it means the first report will be an error report. But if it's good, good, then there will be no error, error report. There's no. What do I mean by error report? Here's an error report. This is an error report. Okay. So that's that. That. So if I click on print to PDF or send to printer. Okay, I'm not connected to a printer, so I just click into PDF. I click OK. I wait for it. So that should print only row number six. Report for child in row number six. Row calls number six. And that's OK. If I go back to that area. Number six are repeated for me, as you can see. So we can see that the, the report is well balanced within the paper. So that's some settings you need to do on your system to get it to be balanced this way. So I think this this takes this brings us to the end of our tutorial. If you have any questions, you can please drop the questions in the comment section. Send us a DM on our WhatsApp. Thank you so much. I hope this helps.